for this quest, all you need is a covered light source. And you're going to begin by speaking to Sigmund, who's on the second floor of the Lumbridge Castle. So, who's in... Sigmund is in Duke Horatio's room, so you just go in there and speak to him, ask him if he has any quests. He will inform you that something came through a hole in the cellar. Um, to start, you want to speak to Duke Horatio, and then go downstairs, talk to the cook, and ask him if they've seen anything. Once you've done that, head outside, talk to Hans, ask him if he knows anything about the cellar, and then talk to Father Eric, and then Bob in the axe store. Once you've done that, go back into Lumbridge Castle, head upstairs, and tell Sigmund what you heard that the cook said. Um, the cook told you there was a goblin in the cellar, so you got to head down to the cellar and get the brooch. You don't need the light source for this part, so once you got the brooch, head back upstairs, show Sigmund and the Duke, and they'll tell you to find out what it is. So you go talk to Reldo, who's in the Varric Library. And he will tell you he has a book about the tribes of goblins. So it's on the west wall. Just flip through the book until you see the Dorgishan symbol. And then head to the goblin village. Talk to General Bentnose or General Wartface. Ask him if they know anything about the Dorgishkins, and as the quest options comes up, or the talk options come up, you want to say it doesn't really matter. Well, either way, they refuse to fight. Well, they found a brooch underground, and why not show me both greetings? So, once you have the greetings, you're going to head back to the castle now, and head, uh, and talk to Sigmund and the Duke again. Now, this is where you need the light source. So head in there, and they're going to going to explore the tunnels now. Now I got this off of the wiki. This is just a picture of how to get through the caves. If you need to come back to this, that would be uh, it's very helpful. So you cross the bridge here on your left. Once you go through, once you're across the bridge, you go left again. All the way up and around going north and then you're gonna head east and then you're gonna go to the north passage up and around and then go to the east passage again And then once you get through here, you're going to follow the water up and around. And then once you're there, you talk to the goblin. And once you're done talking to Mistag, you can follow him out. That way you don't have to go traverse the cave again. Now go back up and talk to Sigmund and the Duke and tell them that it was a goblin and you know how they got there. Or you know... If that was an accident. Pickpocket Sigmund and go into his room and open it. You'll find ham robes. Keep those. You're going to need them for a different quest. So you can just throw them in your bank. And now you're going to head to the ham hideout. Which is just on the other side of the river Lum. So you have to pick the lock to get in. Open it. And then the crates right there by the door are going to have the silverware. Back into the castle. Show the duke. And then he's going to give you a peace treaty to take to the goblin. So once you go back down there, you can follow the goblin that's there. He'll take you and then talk to Mistag, tell him you have a peace treaty and he'll get his head person. You'll get a cutscene, and then that's gonna be quest complete. Uh, if this helped you, leave a like and thank you for watching.